Well, hey there, gang. This is Tony again with another episode of Unpacking Diesel Punk. I am Tony Snipes, your host, and you, many of you know me from hanging out with me with the Portsmouth Aeroship Building Company. So we're got a, we've got a uh, awesome episode for you. As you may have seen, it is going to be a great topic. Can be a little controversial. Doesn't have to be, but let's dive into it. Uh, actually, before we get into the episode itself, I always like to start off every episode at least. Uh, the definition that I like uh, that helps define diesel punk. So I want to start off with that. Um, the definition that I like says diesel punk is a method of creativity that combines the historic style of the mid 1910s through the mid 1950s with elements of sci fi, fantasy, or even horror. So uh, that's the definition that I lean towards. And I always want to get your feedback on that definition as well, too. But that's just a foundation, just so you can see where I'm coming from with some of the um, comments and the questions or the, um, the things that I say based on each episode. So let's get right into today's episode. And this came from a question from Patrick. Patrick, I know that you're out there because Patrick is one of our faithful followers. And he's always um, commenting and liking the stuff that uh, that we post. So, fa- uh, so, so, Patrick, thank you so much for just hanging out with us. Let's dive into his question. Patrick says, "Here's mine. Here's my question: What steps can the Diesel Punk community take to be more open and inclusive to new fans from diverse backgrounds?" Uh, again, Patrick, awesome question. And uh, I really wanted to kind of take that question in. And I really want to hear back from you guys as well, too, because I don't want this to be a monologue. I think it can be a real good dialogue. But to, um, to take Patrick's question to heart as far as diversity and what can the diesel punk community do to um, uh, just open up, especially to new members or new people that are, are drawn to our, our genre. Uh, Patrick, the thing I... Um, looked at first is I wanted to share with you what I personally had seen from the diesel punk community, especially really being a relatively newcomer, at least I consider myself, to uh, the genre of diesel punk. Although I've been, I consider myself someone that has uh, enjoyed and loved and followed diesel punk for a long time. I didn't even know it was a thing until the last four years. But when I found you guys here on social media, uh, and especially when I launch the Portsmouth Aeroship Building Company, um, I'll be honest with you, because many of you that are familiar with the content that I put out on the uh, Portsmouth Aeroship Building Company, you know that it leans heavily towards promoting and showcasing African Americans um, during the World War II era, and then it especially leans towards um, showcasing uh, women, and especially African American women, during that during that same era honestly uh i did not know how the response was going to be but i had to be true to myself to the content that i wanted to create so i went there and um honestly patrick uh i was well received my content is continuously well received and again it is no doubt as far as the um the the voice that i project which again showcases the contributions of African Americans, especially during the, that uh, that era, uh, but the feedback that I get is always, almost always positive. All it makes me feel that the content is right at home and resonates with everyone. I didn't know how it was going to go, but that was what I, I had experienced. So I wanted to share that with uh, with you first, as far as it being well received. Um, the other thing that I was going to share, based on the, your question. Um, Patrick, as far as what the community community can do with diversity, um, you, uh, the community has welcomed. I think they, they should continue to welcome diverse um, perspectives from the diesel punk era. And um, the other thing that I experienced also, and I think that our community can continue to do, I, I love the fact that especially, and many of you know about this, especially after the last year and a half that we came, we got out of, not just because of the pandemic, but because of the social issues that were going on. The diesel punk community, at least in my experience, really focused on the content at hand. 
as opposed to the things that were going on around us. Uh, yes, the social things were going on. Yes, people had their personal opinions and take, take on that. And there were places where you can express that as kind of like an escape from all of that. Uh, the diesel punk community, at least for me in my experience, was a place where whatever, wherever someone else was coming from, even myself, with those outside social issues, we were able to connect with what we all had in common, which was our love for the genre of diesel punk. I think that that can continue because, um, again, um, it's a, it was a safe haven, a, a, a really a place to get away from all the noise that was going on, no matter what your thoughts and opinion were either way. I saw at least the diesel punk community, at least the groups that I have been a, a part of, have been places where um, we connected uh, on the thing that we agreed upon, which was the genre itself as far as diesel punk. So that's my thought on it. I really want to get feedback from the rest of you as far as what do you think? Again, Patrick, excellent question. What do you think the diesel punk community can do to make others feel? In fact, let me just go ahead and just read his question here word for word. What steps can the diesel punk community take to be more open and inclusive to new fans from diverse backgrounds? Um, now, one thing I was thinking about, Patrick, in your question is that you did emphasize or you mentioned the community. One thing that, uh, let me just kind of put a little emphasis on the creators. And I don't think creators have to do this, but I think creators that have felt led or have had thoughts about and ideas about um, when they're creating something to uh, uh, open up to diverse experiences in whatever platforms that they create to go ahead and do that. Uh, because actually everybody has been represented in that history because, of, you know, people of all kinds of backgrounds, uh, ethnic backgrounds have been a part of that history. And so there are so many stories that can be told. You don't have to do it for the sake of doing it. But if you feel that there is a compelling angle, compelling representation that fits your creative expression, then go there. Um, as you see with what I do with the Portsmouth Airship Building Company, um, I, my voice, I always, I think my place as far as the voice and the expression that, um, that I choose to communicate is one that I think is not communicated enough. And that's why I think I come in. That's why the stories and the uh, expressions that, um, that uh, I put out especially represent African-Americans and women during that era because those stories are uh, really uh, still untold. And I'll share this with you guys too, especially because uh, just so that you know that uh, finding, and I try to do a lot of images that show integration, that shows African-Americans and white Americans working together in the shipbuilding industry. Uh, and I try to have as much representation as possible that I can find with that, with old photos. And it is super hard to come by. Uh, that just kind of tells you, at least my thought is, it kind of tells you um, where we were. And so working towards kind of telling those uh, diverse stories is at least what I think the creators can do in addition to the community itself. So again, thank you, Patrick, for that question. Awesome question. And I want to get you guys' feedback um, on that uh, as well. Now, one last thing that I would like to share on that topic, Patrick, um, is uh, as far as putting it back on the community themselves, um, I think that the, com the community, now my experience for the most part has been, has been that people have been respectful to each other when it comes to diversity in diesel punk and the, the genre itself. I did see an instance right before we launched um, our, um, our Unpacking Diesel Punk show. It wasn't about the show itself. Many of you may recall there was a sequel uh, or the, an article that was talking about a sequel to The Rocketeer. And it they talked about it including an actor, an African-American actor. And that actor was going to portray a retired um, Tuskegee Airmen who, is a, who historically were African-American pilots and that that African-American pilot was going to take on the mantle of the new Rocketeer. 
Now, I think that's an interesting twist to the story as far as, and not really a twist to the story, but an interesting direction that that story could go in because it is based on his history and they they were pilots and they were African-American pilots. And I think that was an interesting um, uh, step that that story can go in. Um, some of the folks from the diesel punk community, at least what I saw on Facebook, um, didn't think so. In fact, uh, they used the term, and I hate this term because it just gives a label on something, but they said that this was, in fact, folks were saying this was just an example of woke crap, uh, of, or it being woke. Um, that's the, that's the only time I really saw the community being disrespectful. And I'm going to say that, you know, there's disrespectful people out there and they're going to go there. Uh, I think that the community can just can continue to be respectful with different thoughts and ideas uh, and especially have an awareness that they're the diesel punk community, whether we're on Facebook, watching, listening, texting and comment, commenting are coming from diverse backgrounds. So I'm always mindful with my responses. I think if we can continue to be respectful of each other, even in our opinions, that's what will welcome more of us to be a part. So great question, Patrick. And I really want to hear the feedback from what you guys have to say about this as well, because I think it makes for great conversation and helps to build our genre and to make our genre even that much more widespread for ideas and for more folks being a part. So I want to remind everybody about the contest. It is a contest, yes, about the contest that we have. I want to give away one of my newest digital paintings. Many of you have seen this while it was in development and it is now fully complete. It is an 11 by 17 full color expression of the skydivers. And so you can see that well, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna post an example of this as well too. And the way that you can be in the running for getting is it is this getting this? Sorry, is all you have to do is just post a question. Once you post a question, you will be in the running for, and I will do a signed uh, copy of that and send it directly to you so that you can have it. So again, I want to thank everybody for joining us for this episode again. Get, post your questions here, post your comments right here, uh, especially post your comments about today's topic on diversity and especially what Patrick said, what do we feel that uh, the diesel pump community, community itself can do more uh, and, and can be more open and inclusive to new fans from diverse backgrounds. I wanna get your take on it and post that right here. And we will see you in the next episode of Unpacking Diesel Pump. <laughs>